Hey everybody, it's uh, a rainy day in February and uh, got a nice fire going in the shop here. It's a real mess because I got it all torn apart. But uh, I got everything out of the rafters here. I got a whole bunch of junk stored up there. And uh, I'm just uh, framing in. See there, I've been framing in with old 2x4s I have. I'm going to get get ready to uh, put paper barrier up on the roof and uh, some plywood. Uh, when it's really cold in here, which it's not today, um, it takes quite a while to heat up in here, even with this wood stove going. Mainly there's no because there's no insulation. Um, the other reason is uh, all the heat goes up there first. Which is really good for getting the snow off the roof, but not so good for keeping me warm when uh, I'm out here doing stuff. Like I said, it's it's torn apart. Most of the stuff that's on the floor here was uh, up top there. Picked up some new lights at uh, Princess Auto. They were, I think it was $314 for four of them. Kind of pricey, in my opinion, anyways. That's not actually that pricey. That's actually really cheap. Anyways, they're LEDs. They're insanely bright. They're going to replace this god-awful uh, fluorescent fixture I've got and the crappy fluorescent fi fixture I've got over here on my bench. Excuse me, I got the hiccups suddenly for some reason. Uh, I'm going to do some more framing, and hopefully my hiccups are going to stop. And when I get a little bit more done, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys my progress. Oh, uh, all this wood... How do you like my old door? Got it off a cabin in the woods. All of my wood is uh, pallet wood. These are approximately uh, 12, some of them are 14. Uh, they were used for moving roofing metal. Uh, a friend of mine does roofing and tinsmithing and he gets these pallets in so you get eight two by fours per pallet and I'll pick them up three or four at a time. So it's free wood and it's really good for for framing in, you know, stuff like this. Uh, it's not really great lumber. I got a new one here. This is a fairly decent piece of wood. Uh, brand new, unused, leftovers from something else I did. But yeah, I'm going to use the 2x4s and dunnage I have kicking around to frame all this in. It's all short stuff. Longest piece will be uh, over here on the ends, or I put on those plates there on either end. And uh, the longest span this way will be four feet, and the longest span this way is, I think, 28 and a half inches, the biggest one. So I'm going to do all that, and then we'll uh, see how it looks. Alright, so I've taken down, uh, or rather I moved the uh, fluorescent light fixture here, and it was working fine, but then when I put it back up there, only one of the bulbs is working now, so something went wrong with that. It's even dimmer than it was before. Uh, I've got these uh, pieces in here, as well as... Uh, this piece right here, it's uh, four feet to the center of these. It's not four, four, four. Uh, it's not quite four feet in the middle here. So I'm going to come four feet out from this side over and then trim the piece of plywood for the center. I want an access hatch to the space up here. And I think I'm going to put that right here in this space here, so I'm going to have to frame that up. I want it to be fairly large, so I'm going to use that in entire space there. I'm not sure... I guess I'll probably put it on a hinge, so... Or actually, I won't even put it on a hinge. I'll just put a back plate on it so that I can just push it up and out of the way. That way I can get up there to insulate, do the electrical, as well as uh, store odds and ends like carb kits and other things that aren't harmed by being stored up there. Um, it's getting very hot in here. Uh, I've had the door open just about all day, and I've been moving things around constantly to get everything done, so it's taken quite a while. But it's uh, it's pretty darn warm in here. It's closing in on 30 degrees. Um, stove has been beautiful, and the cat on the top here, the reburner has been working great. It's just roaring along. Doesn't use too much wood. Yeah, look at that. Just beautiful. But I think I'm done for the day. I'm going to bring in some more of this dunnage I have uh, outside. It was drenched, but it's been drying out nicely. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring some more of that in here 
clean it up there. Put some more wood in the stove, and uh, we'll leave it till possibly tomorrow, or maybe longer. Uh, yeah, so that's probably it for that for today. Um, these LED lights, I thought because they were LED they wouldn't get this hot, but this is actually quite warm. It's not warm enough to melt the plastic on it, but like it's a lot hotter than I expected, so... I was going to attach those directly to the ceiling when the plywood's on, but I think I'm going to have to maybe use a piece of uh, copper pipe and do like a one-inch spacer so that it's got some room to vent on the back so the heat doesn't get too much. I really... This was a really slow go because every single measurement was different. Uh, this little building here was here when I bought the property, and uh, it's not square. It's not plumb. I did my best to level it. I put this plywood down. I got this plywood at the dump. It's a uh, 5 8 treated uh, plywood sheets off of somebody's dock down by the lake. The other side is all weathered, but I just flipped them over and put them down and pretty decent. There's one spot over here that's got some damage. You can see it right there. Not too bad. I'm trying to keep this project to a minimum, uh, but I am going to have to buy some uh, vapor barrier. I'm very, very tempted to be a cheap idiot and uh, and just use uh, lumber wrap, which I have a whole bunch of brand new, but I know for a fact that it's the permeability of that is uh, not ideal for applications like this. And given that I have tools in here, I want to keep it relatively uh, low humidity in here, so I want to use proper vapor barrier. I'm going to change this door out, too. This is a pretty old door, as you can see. Um, it's just plywood. There's no R value whatsoever to this door. I do have a proper uh, aluminum skinned foam core door I'm going to put in there. That'll keep it a little warmer in here once everything's insulated. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Man, what a mess. I hate it when it's messy like this. It drives me nuts. So, that's it. Uh, I will continue this project another day, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll probably make this video all one part, so we'll see you in a little bit. Oh boy, I, I, I should have rented one of those machines. Anyways, I just got the first piece up. Um, either I'm really out of shape, I'm getting old, or it's all of the above. I feel like 3 8 plywood is really heavy, or at least when you're holding it over your head with one arm and nailing it with the nail gun and then dropping the nail gun and hoping that one staple that you put in holds and doesn't drop that entire sheet on your head while you get down the stepladder to get the air nailer again. But uh, yeah, so I got the first one on. It went on really nice. It's nice and square, so that's a good sign. Um, that means that at least this corner here is square. So I guess that means I'll base everything off of here and build out, and uh, that should make uh, the rest of the pieces that are going on easier to uh, put on. So, oh man, sorry for the lighting, I had to pull down the lights, I only got that, that LED right there, and it's kind of dark in here, but yeah, we got this all up, I'm going to keep going, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so sorry for the lighting. But I've got the plywood up now. Uh, vapor barrier is behind it. I've hung a couple of lights. Sorry for the glare there. The lighting's not very good in here right now. But I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It was actually a lot more square than I thought. Uh, the only place it really noticeable is in that center sheet there. Everything else lined up really well. Really happy with that. Uh, which is weird because down at the bottom of the walls here, it's not even remotely square, so I guess they started from the bottom <laughs> or something, because, or the walls of, I don't know. Anyways, went really well. Um, I was at the dump, and yes, I have the front panel for it, but have a look at this. Somebody got rid of a whole whack of grow up stuff, and this breaker panel is here, and it's loaded with breakers. I am just tickled. So now I've got a breaker panel. Because I only had a, a three circuit 30 amp to go in here before. And this one here is a, uh, a 40 amp. And it's not stab lock. 
so we don't have to worry about that blowing up. I gotta pull all this crap out of here. Um, I just took the faceplate off to show you guys. <laughs> Clean it up a little bit in here. I'm gonna stick this up in the uh, crawl space up top there because that's gonna be um, where I uh, store everything. Uh, I'm about to go up there and start laying some electrical. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, 110 plugs in the ceiling here for the lights and run them to a switch. But if I put this up in the crawl space, anytime I want to run a wire, I'm going to run all, everything before I close in the walls, of course. But if I want to run another circuit later, I can just bring it down, drill a hole, bring it down, and it'll be a really easy to add plugs later. So we'll go ahead and put this right up there above the wood stove inside the crawl space. That'll be where it lives. And that should be good. Uh... I gotta do the insulation too today. I think I'll uh, I'll show you guys up there. It's not really all that exciting, but um, I'll go have a look anyways. Whoa! Don't fall off the ladder on your way up here, Cohen. All right, so that's what we got going on up here. So that far wall there, where you see that extension cord coming in, um, that's my current electrical service, which is not ideal. I don't like it. I'm going to, uh, in the spring, run a line down here. Uh, I'm actually going to put in a power line down to here from the house. There is a, uh, we're going to tie in to the, uh, the, the 100 amp panel in the house there. There's a, uh, there's room for a uh, 30 or 40 amp breaker in there. doesn't matter which one I use. We're going to run that down here, and I'm going to tie it in up at the peak over there. And the panel's going to come in there. I'm going to have uh, lots of room for storage up here once the uh, insulation is in. I'll put some plywood down up top here, and uh, then I can just put stuff up here. Obviously nothing super heavy because this is just, you know, 2x6 and 2x4, uh, so we don't want to put anything too heavy up here. But, you know, good for light stuff. Uh, a few Rubbermaid containers and the odd thing that I don't need all the time. So that'll be good for that. Pretty happy with it up here. Uh, everything went really well. The the hard part was putting the plywood up myself. Um, I tore my uh, rotator cuff last year, and I, I just it healed up. But my left arm just as soon as I get like anywhere above lifting above my shoulder with that side, I've got like half of the strength if that that I used to have. So yeah, I'm gonna hang these lights. And I'm gonna do a few other things, and then I'll uh, I'll do another update video in a little bit here. All right, the uh, all the lights up. These ones aren't plugged in yet. I gotta plug in or uh, wire in a plug there to that switch there. There's been a couple changes. Um, I roughed in the panel there. I think it looks better there. It makes more sense. After crawling up there twice, I realized that that was a terrible idea, and we're just gonna leave it right there. I think uh, we'll probably bring it out once I close in the wall it'll be surface mounted or maybe we'll recess it like that I'll uh, I'll have to look at how that's done I don't want to have a fire in here or anything like that I've got the insulation done up here just finished I had to wear a mask up here and boy did it get hot up here in a hurry so insulation's all in as you can see I had a little extra here I just left it up there Got this uh, sheet of plywood up here just as a temporary hatch until I get something a little more permanent. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find a broken aluminum ladder and I'm going to put a couple of rollers there so we can. It's surface mounted on the ceiling, it'll roll back and just kind of clip up to the ceiling. And when I want to go up there, I can unhook it pull it forward on the rollers and then down and that'll be my ladder to get up and down from there but that was quite a bit of work and it was really stuffy up there with the the uh, mask on yeah but it's done now it's really hot in here I have to leave the door open I don't actually know what the temperature is right now uh, it's cooled off quite a bit but it was close to 30 in here about 20 minutes ago before I opened the door I shut the stove right down and opened it up, and it's it's much better in here now. But I'm going to uh, wire in some, not wire in, but rough in some plugs, figure out where I want them. 
I think I'm going to put a, a double switch there. Don't focus on my finger, you stupid thing. I'm going to put in a double switch there. Uh, closest one to the door will be lights. The other one will be uh, to shut off the the uh, the plugs I'm going to place around the uh, room here. That way when I leave, I can shut everything off. Uh, or I could just shut it off at the panel there. And that way it will uh, reduce the, the chances of something... Uh, going wrong in here when I'm not in the building. But I was hunting all over for my conduit boxes, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And then one of the ends failed on one of my extension cords. So I opened the drawer down there, and I remember the plug ends were in there, but I didn't remember that I'd thrown a bunch of these salvage boxes in here too. So found all of those. That one will probably go up there. And uh got these guys here. These are rated for uh, higher electrical output. So those will go in. These are really nice. They're brand new. So I'm going to get through those out of the dump. So I'm going to do that. But I think that's it for this video for now. Might be another video later when I've got a little bit more done. Like all the lights are wired up and everything. But um, I think that's it for now. It's getting late. I'm getting hungry. But uh, we'll end it here, and uh, until next time, everybody stay safe and be kind to each other. We'll see you next time.